Hey, I'm Melissa. Setting personal boundaries has become more accepted as society focuses on better mental health. We can even set boundaries when it comes to our faith. Today, let's talk about defining and setting spiritual boundaries. When we make any kind of boundary, we're defining what we're personally responsible for and protecting our physical, emotional, and spiritual resources. Boundaries also help us keep perspective when someone tries to make their responsibility ours. Spiritual boundaries are how we protect the health of our relationship with God. Setting spiritual boundaries helps us to build a spiritual foundation to ground us in God's truth when the waves of the world's influence come crashing down. Boundaries in all aspects of our lives are important. Today, let's talk about three kinds of spiritual boundaries. Boundaries that build a foundation of faith, boundaries with friends, and boundaries with our bodies. Spiritual boundaries build a foundation of faith. Figuring out what we believe is hard. When you begin evaluating what you believe, start with what you know to be true and stick to it. Sometimes that starting point is really broad or it may be a tiny moment when you knew God was there. Maybe the only thing you know to be true is that God loves us and forgives us through Jesus Christ. And that's okay. We have to start somewhere and God will be right there while we sort it out. As we watch stuff the algorithms show us and hear from differing perspectives, we're gonna find many new teachings, new pastors, and new concepts. Some of these messages have truths that are backed up by the Bible. Others may teach things that go directly against God's word. Sometimes false teachers are hard to identify because they play on our insecurities or walk the line of truth and fiction. Having spiritual boundaries can keep you from getting tossed to and fro by the waves and carried by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Study the Bible as much as you can and talk to God. As your knowledge of God's word strengthens, apply those new lessons to how you love, live, and discern the things that are healthy or unhealthy for you personally. Spiritual boundaries with friends. There is nothing wrong with having friends who are not Christians. Just remember that their spiritual goals will be quite different from yours. A friend who isn't a Christian can help challenge you to explore your own beliefs, but they cannot walk alongside you in the same way a friend who shares your faith can. How are your close friends affecting you? Are you receiving spiritually healthy counsel from them? Proverbs gives us some really good advice about what kinds of people make for good friends. Take a moment to study these. Proverbs 13, 20, Proverbs 22, 24, and Proverbs 27, 6. True friends are wise and discerning. They have self-control and don't get angry easily. True friends love us enough to risk calling us out by speaking painful truths when they see us in trouble. Those friends who only dish out empty praises or harsh criticisms are not the ones we should trust to give us either advice or correction. Spiritual boundaries for your body. Part of taking care of our spiritual health is setting physical boundaries on how we care for our physical selves. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20 tells us that our bodies are literal temples for the Holy Spirit. So what kind of physical boundaries should we set to protect our own spirit? We can glorify God with our bodies by running away from sexual immorality, avoiding the overindulgence of food and drink, and being wise about how we use our time. When we honor our spiritual boundaries by practicing self-control over unhealthy choices and prioritizing what is physically healthy and beneficial, we strengthen our spiritual health too. Setting any type of boundary isn't easy and enforcing them can be even harder. Mentally separating and balancing our responsibilities for school, health, and relationships can be confusing and hard, but it's worth it to protect the beautiful person God has created in you and is working to transform. You're likely to get flooded with advice about what you 100% need to do to become a good Christian TM, but you don't have to blindly do whatever people tell you. Instead, exercise wisdom as you evaluate their advice. Is the advice giver trustworthy? Are they lovingly calling you out or just trying to hurt you? Do they encourage you to ask God for help? Do they support your personal convictions? Do they help you stay strong when faced with temptation? Do they help you reject things that distract you from God? Take any spiritual advice you receive, even ours, and compare it to scripture. Check it against your physical, emotional, and spiritual boundaries, and keep asking God for discernment in the process. Not everybody is gonna be okay with you having boundaries, but it is not your responsibility to make them okay with it. 
It is your responsibility to enforce your boundaries to protect your body, your heart, and your soul. And the creator of the whole universe has your back. You got this. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We answer questions like this every day, so head over to 412teens.org to ask your own spiritual questions.